Namaste and kia ora. Welcome to this beautiful land of New Zealand. I am on the North Island. Of the two islands, the North Island is a very tropical island. People often ask me which island should they go to when visiting New Zealand and the answer is both. Don't forgo one island for the other. Once you're down here, make sure to see both. You can see one of my short yoga films on a beautiful beach and here we are in a beautiful garden of Fongaray. Alright, let's come just to standing, unlock the knees, let the shoulders roll away from the ears. You'll be able to hear this amazing wind today. The weather here is always changing. It's sometimes really sunny and bright, then the wind will come. It's right off the ocean. We're very far south, so we'll just go with the flow because that's all we can do anyway. All right. Close your eyes, unlock the jaw, unglue the tongue, unlock the knees. Let the hands face forward. And just take a moment to set an intention. Breathing fully and deeply. What is your intention for today, this moment? Making affirmative statements, I am, I have become. Let it exist already. The sun is shining. And as you're ready, still with the eyes closed, lift the arms up and bring them together, hands to heart center, bringing that intention into your heart and soul, into this moment. Letting everything else go. And as you're ready, once again, blink the eyes open. Reach nice and high, stretch nice and high. Exhale, forward fold, inhale. Scoop from the belly, neck, shoulders last, nice and high. And again, exhale, scoop from the belly, rolling up, nice and high. Exhale, forward fold, and this way, halfway up, nice flat back. Reaching forward with the head, back with the tailbone, just feeling that nice stretch up the back of the legs. Breathe in. Exhale all the way down and inhale, rolling up. One vertebrae at a time and exhale, hands come down. Put the weight into the right leg and inhale, let's bring the leg up. Exhale, step back to the high lunge. Inhale, the arms come up nice and high. Beautiful reaching, just opening up. That feels like too much in that left leg. You can bend the leg and bring your heel off the ground. Otherwise, nice and high reaching. And exhale, step together. Inhale, this time put the weight into the left. Lift that right foot, take balance. Exhale, step back into that high lunge. Inhale, reach up. Again, you can always reach that heel off the ground. Beautiful, breathe in, step together. Inhale, up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale all the way down. Let's plant the hands. Step one foot and the other foot back into your plank. Now if that feels too much, you can drop your knees. Beautiful. Let's hold for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. Exhale. Press back to your downward facing dog. Heels reaching to the ground. 
Ears in between arms, breathe in. And exhale back to your plank. Let's take that left foot and bring it forward. Very nice. Breathe in. Exhale, slightly bend the right. Inhale up. Exhale, bend. Inhale up. Always making sure that knee and ankle are directly in line. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now you have a choice if you like to drop the leg into your twist or stay in that high lunge and come into your twist. Very nice. Hold it. For five, four, three, two, one. Bring that hand back down. Step back to the plank. Breathe in. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pushing the hands away from you, relaxing the shoulders. Breathe in, plank. Last one, exhale, downward facing dog. Plank, and bring that right foot forward with you. Beautiful. Breathe in. And remember, you can always drop here or come back up. Very nice. Breathe in, exhale, bend the leg. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. And come in to your twist. Remember that knee can always be down. Breathing, very nice. Inhale, exhale, bring those hands back down, hold, breathe in, exhale, back to plank, slowly lower down to chaturanga, turn the toes under, upward facing dog, squeezing the glutes, thighs on the ground, breathe in, exhale, down, breathe in, push up and back. Once again, to your downward facing dog. Let's take a moment to walk the dog, bending left and right. Come back to center, both sides done evenly. Inhale, look up between the hands. Exhale, walk forward. Inhale, rolling up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Take a moment here just to breathe. Close the eyes if you want. Taking a moment. Drop the hands to the side. Very nice. Let the hands come up. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, chair pose. Look down, make sure you can see those toes. Holding, trying to get those ears and arms in line. Inhale, up. Put the weight into your right. Bring that left to your knee and exhale down. Now, it's very important to bring that toe towards the knee to get the most benefits. I'm just gonna organize myself here. <laughs> Inhale. 
inhale, lift up, hold it. And if you come out of it, it's no problem. If you can hold into it, keep holding. Belly button nice and strong. Breathe in. Exhale, bring that foot back. Warrior three, if you come out, what do you do? You come back straight into it. Exhale, drop back once more. Bringing your hands up. Exhale, bring those hands back behind you. Now, if this is all you can do, that's okay. If you have a big bend in those elbows, that's okay. Just hold here, bring the chin to chest. Otherwise, you can straighten those arms. Or if you want to go into a full expression, holding all the way over. Wherever you are, inhale, press up, reaching high, exhale, step together, inhale, up, exhale, forward fold, inhale, scoop from the neck, exhale, forward fold, scoop from the belly, coming up. This time, put the weight into your left. Lift that leg. Take a moment. And exhale. Very nice. Hold it. Feel that beautiful stretch through the glutes. Activate the toe towards the knee. Inhale, bring that knee with you. Strong in the abs will allow you to exhale back to that warrior three. Shaking in the ankle just means building strength. Exhale back, knee over ankle. Inhale up. Exhale back, interlace the fingers. And again, decide if you wanna be here and just bring the chin to chest. If you wanna straighten the arms, or if you want to come all the way in to Humble Warrior. Wherever you are, inhale, reach those hands nice and high. And exhale, step together. Take a moment. Move the body any way you want to move it. Just anything you want to adjust. It's okay to be perfectly imperfect in this planet. <sighs> I did this meditation the other day with the crest of the waves. And we watch the waves and we don't judge the wave for having an extra sea foam or a splash that's coming off the wave. We see each wave for its own specific, unique beauty in that moment. What if we were like those waves, seeing our own specific, unique beauty in each moment? All right. Let's open those legs nice and wide. Inhale up, reach, exhale. Bring the hands to the knees, and you can bring the hands forward or to the side, whatever feels the most balanced for you. Hold it, breathe in, and exhale. Look over that left shoulder, pressing into the right leg. Get a nice stretch there. Inhale, center. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale, center, hold it, bring the arms up, and exhale into goddess pose. Now push those knees back towards the pinkies, should be able to lift the toes, the hands are wide, elbow and shoulders nice and line. Hold it, breathe in, reach high, squeeze the glutes, and exhale. We're doing 
the goddess, the moon pose here, but I see that the clouds are about to move and we're gonna get some sunshine. Inhale up, squeeze. Exhale down. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale down. This time we're gonna hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, don't forget to breathe, four, three, as promised, sunshine, two, one, inhale, reach, exhale, forward, all the way, and just dance with the body, how do you want to move right now, move the body, As you're ready, come back to center, hold it. Chin to chest, scoop with the belly. Inhale, all the way up. Reaching nice and high. And exhale, hands to hips. Breathe in. And as you exhale, hinge from the hips with a flat, flat back. Looking down to the ground. Reaching forward with the top of the head. Yes. Inhale up. And as we exhale, what I want you to do is press with the left foot to be able to lift it up into the strength being on the right. So for example, breathe in. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Notice how I land nice and strong, still knee over ankle. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, last one, exhale, use that to lift, hold, open up, even weight now, we're going to do opposite leg, now you might find that one leg is easier than the other, that's totally normal, here we go, breathe in, exhale, bend, Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, come back to the hips and come down with a flat back. See how long you can make your spine. Hold on to those hips. Press the hips back with your hands while reaching forward with the top of the head. Very nice. Inhale up. Bring the feet a little bit closer. Hands together. We're going to exhale to a squat. Now, if that doesn't feel good for you, you can just come a little bit higher. But if you can come into this squat, hold the squat, the tailbone down, press the hands, close the eyes, just feel the beauty of that opening. Shoulders away from the ears, tongue unglued, jaw unlocked. Inhale, exhale, bring the hands to the ground. Now take that right hand, push it against the ground, Push it against the inside of the leg as you inhale, open. Breathing and holding. Come back to center. And exhale, both hands to the ground. Now again, that left hand on the inside. Inhale, up. Open up the chest, open up the leg, beautiful. And come back to center. 
It's amazing how different it is when the sun is out or when it's cloudy. And that's like life. When the sun is shining, things are a little bit easier. It's when things are cloudy and windy and not perfect that we find that challenge. Even now, the sun, I'm like, oh, it's so sunny now, right? We have to move with ease and grace through each moment. Breathe in. Exhale, bring the hands to the ground. Step one foot, the other foot to plank. We're gonna hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly lower down with control. Place your elbows underneath your shoulders. Your shoelaces are on the ground. Inhale into Sphinx Pose. Press into the ground, close the eyes, look up, and just enjoy the stretching out of the abs, the lower back. If it's any kind of pain, come a little bit lower. Breathe in. Walk the hands back, follow yourself, come on to your bottom, bring the feet out in front of you, let's do a modified boat, feet are on the ground, the back is straight, we're holding a ball of energy, breathe in, and exhale back, inhale, exhale back, inhale, Exhale back, inhale, exhale back. Let's hold, hold it. Now here, if you'd like to test and lift those feet up, if you wanna keep them on the ground, if you wanna extend them completely, what do you want to do today? The most important thing is a nice, strong, straight back, a strong core. No pain in the neck. See if you can even wiggle that neck since you're not holding. Hold that ball of energy. Breathe in. Bring the feet to the ground wherever you are and exhale with that ball of energy. Holding it above you. And overhead. Bring that left hand beside you and let that left leg fall over the body. You can either look up to the sky or over that left shoulder. If you want a little more, you can bring your right hand to that leg. Test out to see what feels good for you. As you exhale, press with your arm to bring those legs to center. Give them a bend. Wiper the legs. Come back to center. Extend the leg. Inhale, hands overhead. And exhale. Grab that right leg. Now, and you can keep left leg extended through the heel or you can bend the left leg. Do what feels right for you. Inhale, and as you exhale, bring beside you, let the right knee fall over you. You can either look up to the sky once again or over that left shoulder. 
Notice if there's any difference in one side or the other with no judgment, just observation. Breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Press your Bring both feet at me. Beautiful. Inhale. Exhale. Those knees toward. on your old wiper the leg come back to center Both sides evenly. And one more time. We're going to do one final tip twist. We're going to breathe in. We're going to walk the feet a few inches over to the right. Exhale, let both legs spill to the left. Then gaze over that left, the right arm. Keep looking towards the sky. As the legs fall to the left, you can gaze over the right arm. Inhale, exhale, press those legs back to center. Walk the legs a few inches over to the left. Breathe in. Exhale, let them spill to the right. And here you can stay looking up to the sky or gaze over the left. As I gaze over the left, I see these beautiful tropical plants. Once again, reminiscent of the North Island, this beautiful Tahitian, tropical-looking island with dramatic beach, dramatic plant life and foliage in the subtropical rainforest. Breathing in. Exhale, back to center. If you want to do anything else, if you want to windshield wipe your legs, whatever it is, do that. Inhale, extend from the fingertips and the toes. Exhale, draw yourself into a tiny ball. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as much as you can. Your face, your legs, your arms, everything. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Breathing in. And as you exhale, release for your Shavasana. Palms are facing up. Legs are not squeezed together, but open a little bit. 11 and 12. The legs are not squeezed together. The feet are pointing to 11 and 1. like to come back to that intention. Come back to it now. I am. I have become. Big deep breath in. Release audibly. Ah. <sighs> Feels so good. Do it again. Breathe in through the nose. Ah, perfect. 
feel free to stay in the Shavasana as long as you would like, with no rush whatsoever. At the end of the Shavasana, choose whether you want to roll onto the left side of your body for an energetic ending or to the right side of your body for a relaxed evening or relaxed day, whatever feels right to you. And again, no rush from your Shavasana. However, if you'd like to join me now, breathe in reaching from the toes and the fingertips and exhale use that arm keep the eyes closed pick whatever side you want to be on take this moment to visualize what the rest of your day will be like who will you be in this moment for the rest of the day this is your chance to wake up into this day once again, setting your intention. As you found it, breathe in. Exhale, press yourself up into sitting. Hands come to heart center, eyes are closed. Taking a moment of gratitude for this life, for this moment for this practice, wherever you are. For me, in this beautiful land of the long white cloud. As you're ready, inhale, blink the eyes open. And exhale, hands back to heart center with so much gratitude. I wish you namaste and have an amazing, beautiful day.